Welcome back to the channel. Here we go. It is finally time to kick off the La Liga season. Welcome to Barcelona. Today we are playing two matches at home to Granada and away at uh, Atletico de Madrid. So a nice comfortable start for us. Um, we'll just have a look at the friendlies. So you can see we've done okay. We've done pretty well. We've already made a couple of little tweaks to the tactic because it wasn't quite working how I wanted it to. Um, we've got a friendly coming up as well against Shakhtar in a Busquets testimonial. Um, I thought I would do a little a little friendly because some of the squad are still looking a little bit um, a little bit ropey. Um, I can't remember if we've brought anybody else in. Uh, Carlos Salenio will probably be going out on loan. Um, did we bring anybody else in? No, the Suso deal went through. Oh, we brought in this kid. If you watched uh, back on FM19, my Save Our Season series with Kievo, you might remember this guy, um, Emmanuel Vignato. Um, he's a bit of a, I wouldn't say he's a wonder kid, but he's a hot prospect in real life in Italy. Uh, Kievo, of course, did go down. So we brought him in. They had an asking price of 250 grand. So we went in and we bought him because I do like the look of him. He was brilliant for Kievo in that series. Um, and we've loaned him out to Extremadura. So he's going to get some decent... Um, some decent level football in the Segunda. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm really quite quite pleased with that. Um, I think he'll go on and be pretty good for us. Here we go then. Here is our first lineup of the La Liga season. A few debuts being made. Um, three of the back four and the keeper all making their debuts. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, Nigel de Jong as well. Ansu Fati as well, of course, making his first team debut. Um, so yeah, as I said, we've made a few changes. Um, this role now is an advanced playmaker instead of a Mazzala. Um, Messi has gone to an inside forward at the minute because he seemed a bit ineffectual as the advanced playmaker there. It just didn't seem to be working. Um, I think that's actually it. And there might, there's one or two in, in, the, um, in the team instructions as well. Um, not got a goalkeeper on the bench because I want to get Sergio Busquets on the bench, give him some minutes before we go to um, the Wanda Metropolitano in the next match. So, yeah, hopefully um, this tactic will start working pretty quickly. Slightly defensive formation, as you would expect from Granada. Um, Roberto Soldado up top is going to give us a physical battle, if not a, um, a race. Uh, Antonio Puertas behind him, though, is pretty decent, and the wingers are not too bad. Um, but we should, we should be winning this one, in fairness. Um, so we're just going to say... Give the fans a performance to cheer for. I hate that one. It never, ever, ever works. Uh, it just, just doesn't, does it? It just never works. Um, have faith, get out there and make a difference. Right, kick off then. Let's go. Our managerial debut is at the legendary Camp Nou. Um, we've got lots of games going on today, so we'll have the event updates on. We're on key highlights, um, just so it makes editing easier and I can get two matches in per video. And it's a corner to defend. Oh, it's an own goal from Gerard Piquet. Oh, what a great start to life at Barcelona as Gerard Piquet unwittingly and haplessly... Oh, what is he doing? He's chesting it. Is he trying to chest that back to the keeper? What was that, Gerard? An absolute calamity to start the season. Um, <laughs> that is brilliant, isn't it? Oh, my God. Celta are winning at Mallorca. Santimina with the goal. Um, we're not exactly pulling up any trees here, are we? Right, we've got a free kick. Messi is amazing at these in the game, which is good. Um, and he's hit that one. Oh, it hit the bar, I think. I think it hit the bar. That was an incredible hit. He is just... I mean, it, it, he's obviously in real life he's the best, but it's. I've always found it a bit of a struggle for him in the game. And that is Antoine Griezmann's first goal on his debut. It's 1-1 and it's a thumping finish as well. Fernandez with the corner. I wasn't expecting anything to come of this because it very rarely does. It's a fantastic volley from Griezmann. What a goal. I wasn't expecting it because normally when it's a corner from a shot that you've had blocked rather than a highlight that starts with a corner, you don't generally see a goal from it, but... Like now, you would expect something to happen from this. Um, and it might do. It's back with Fernandez. Oh, it's a penalty. It's going to be a penalty. It's a penalty with VAR. And it is a penalty. So up steps Leo Messi. This is going to be a quick turnaround if he scores. He's already hit two or three in pre-season. And he steps up. And it's in the bottom corner. And we have turned it around. Leo Messi is off the mark now as well. 2-1 to Barca. That is better. Normal service resumed. 
and the goat smashes it into the bottom corner and gets us in front and we should now get on and, um, and put this onto bed Celta 2-0 up at Mallorca and it's um, it's our lone player there Rafinha that's got the goal on his debut as Ansu Fati comes away gets past his man and a Rabona cross and Griezmann is there again near post header that was a Rabona from Fati on his debut I mean you have no fear do you kid what a run this is and watch closely that is a Rabona cross and it is inch perfect and Antoine Griezmann has put it in that was just ridiculous from the kid I mean come on I know in real life he's had an um, unbelievable impact but to do that is ridiculous uh, Real Madrid leading against Espanyol and it's an own goal from Didac uh, so the own goals are flying in today there's been a lot of goals going in there Athletic Club a 2-0 up against Etafe Yeray has got that I didn't even see them take the lead so I don't know if that's two quick goals 3-1 um, a lot more confident and De Jong and Griezmann oh what a hit from the Frenchman Antoine Griezmann he has really really struggled in pre-season I've just not got anything really out of him he's got one or two goals a brilliant one at Bayern in a friendly a snap shot where he hit, a, snatched a loose ball on the edge of the box and just smashed it in and look at this <laughs> that is going to be goal of the season hands down and it's a hat-trick for Antoine Griezmann in 20 minutes in front of his home fans on his debut I thought he was going to be a really good signing I thought he'd be brilliant for Barcelona in FM20 and what a start he's had here as Mariano Diaz has made it 2-0 to Real Madrid Messi's going to line up this free kick whips it in Pique's going to get it Messi again oh he's cut inside and hit one it's a good save and Griezmann goes for goal and he's going to drop for Ansu Fati and it's 5 it's five in stoppage time. Ansu Fati has a goal to go with his assist now on, the, on a debut to remember for him. It's a really good bit of play from Messi here. Cuts inside, drills it straight at the keeper. Griezmann then, he turns and smashes it. And then it just drops to Fati. I mean, there's four defenders around him and he just drops to him. And the 16-year-old wonder kid has a goal to go with the assist. And it is 5-1 at the break and I mean look at that they've not even had a shot on goal and yet they've scored <laughs> I love that um, Celta de Vigo then is 2-0 up at half time Athletic 2-0 um, up Valencia 2-0 up two goals at the end of the half from Cocola really unlikely scorer um, passionately going to say I'm very happy with the way things are going because that is fantastic I can start giving a couple of players a rest I can get a couple of players on Danny Olmo Suso Thiago maybe Busquets We'll see, um, give a couple of players their debut, um, maybe give Busquets some minutes, Thiago needs some minutes as well, so maybe those are the ones we'll go with. I want to make about five substitutions, but I can't, of course. Um, here's Junior Fierpo, Sergio Roberto on the volley! Oh, they're just all getting in on the act now, and it is 6-1. What a way to start the season. Goals are raining down here at Camp Nou, and it's Junior Fierpo now with the debut assist. Lovely ball across to the edge, just aching to be hit and it's in the bottom corner from Sergio Roberto one of my favourite Barcelona players the guy is just a legend he just plays plays anywhere he is fabulous fabulous player um, yeah this is going brilliantly Luka Jovic has scored for Real Madrid on his debut right let's get in there let's get some people rested um, I want to give Thiago a game because he's, he's really unfit. So we're going to bring Bruno Fernandes off because he's been booked. And we'll put Thiago on there. Um, I kind of want to bring PK off as well because, again, he's been booked. And we're going to need him at the uh, at the Wanda. So do I give Vertonghen his debut and go two left-footed centre-backs? Because um, Busquets is at 80%, so it's not essential that he comes on. I, I would really love to give Olmo and Suso their games as well. But I don't really want to take Messi off just yet. And I'm happy for Messi to play the 90 um, oh, we'll we'll leave it at that for the minute because I, I I really don't want PK getting banned um, as Real Madrid go four 0 up and it's a debut goal for Eden Hazard. Real Sociedad a two 0 up. Um, Mikel Oyarzabal has got that one. Um, here we go, Junior Firpo, Griezmann, Firpo puts it in. That was a lovely ball in. There was just no one there. Frankie De Jong has it now. Sergio Roberto. He should have really been in for that for that cross from Fiapo. It's a brilliant ball. De Jong, Sergio Roberto, De Jong, lovely ball. 
Ricardo Pereira, Sergio Roberto, De Jong. This is good play. I'm so, so happy with this performance with all the new players that we've got. It's been absolutely brilliant as Messi taps it wide. Right, here we go. 25 to go. Let's bring PK off now and we will just have to put up with two left-footed centre-backs. Um, now it's... I'm going to bring Suso on, I think. Oh, do I take Messi off? Yeah. Oh, do I take Messi off? See, Ansu Fati can sit the Atletico game out and we could probably play Danny Olmo there or Abel Ruiz could maybe play. Or do I leave Messi on and bring Abel Ruiz on for Fati? Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll bring Abel Ruiz on because we're 6-1 up. It's the perfect time to bring bring on these young kids and give them some game time. Um, so really happy with that. Thiago's coming back, making his return to the club. Real Madrid are 5-0 up. Eden Hazard again. And Esteban Granero has been sent off. The former Real Madrid player has been sent off, now play for Espanyol. Um, 87,600 are here to witness an epic start to the season for us. Um, Real Valladolid have got one back at Real Sociedad. Griezmann has it here now. Frankie de Jong. Villarreal have scored. Junior Firpo. Sergio Roberto. Lovely ball. Messi. Whoa, impeccable touch. Whips it across and Griezmann heads it wide. This has been a fantastic. I mean, it's more than I could have hoped for. Um, and I was dreading it going a goal down after seven minutes. But it's more than I could have hoped for. As Valencia are 3-0 up now in their game. Maxi Gomez has a goal there. Um, Francis Coquelin got there first too, didn't he? Messi with that. Kimpembe's hit the bar. Oh, so unlucky. So unlucky. Almost a dream debut as Osasuna have equalised at um, El Madrigal or whatever it's called these days against Villarreal. Danny Parejo has scored for Valencia. I was looking at Danny Parejo. I would have loved to have brought him in, um, but I wanted Thiago more, to be honest. Parejo would have cost a lot less as well, to be fair, but I wanted to bring Thiago home. Um, goal kick taken. We're past the two minutes of stoppage time, and there it is. A very, very, very satisfactory result. Not happy we didn't keep a clean sheet. <laughs> hey. um, but it's 6-1. We're just... We're passionately going to say I'm very happy with the result and the way you played. I'm going to give Griezmann. Um, can I, I'm going to do a. I'm going to do a few of them here. Griezmann, Messi, Frankie De Jong, Sergio Roberto, and Ansu Fati, and we're going to give all of those. Oh, and Bruno Fernandes because he did play pretty well as well. We're going to tell all of those passionately that they were awesome. What a start to the game. What a start to the season. We can go to the Wonder now and be very, very confident. Um, so, yeah. Um, after that, we've got the Champions League draw. Um, I might do that on camera. I might not. It depends how long this video is. But let's not worry about that. Let's head to Madrid. Three changes to the team today from that uh, first game of the season. Iñaki Peña is in goal for his competitive debut. Uh, Andre Anana has gone down with a slight thigh injury. Nothing serious. He should be back for the next game. Uh, Jordi Alba comes into the starting lineup. He needs a lot of fitness. Um, he's just come back from injury himself. So Junior Firpo is on the bench and will probably come on at some point. And we've put Thiago into midfield to start as well uh, with Bruno Fernandes dropping down. Didn't want to make too many changes. Um, because, you know, you don't want to disjoint a team that's just smashed in six goals. But there were one or two players there that you do just want to uh, give some game time to. And, you know, let's face it, Thiago and Jordi Alba, they're not exactly green, are they? So uh, it's a 4-4-2, as you would expect from Atletico Madrid. Very, very strong team. Uh, Joao Felix is on the bench, the wonder kid. Um, strange one. Um, they've gone with Diego Costa and Alvaro Morata, so... Sorry, Kimpembe and PK, you're having a tough old game today. Um, so we are going to say, go out there and carry straight on from your last match because I think I think that goes well. Um, and I have faith. Yeah. Um, nice old aerial shot of the players coming out. Um, let's get this one going then. So have we got any games going on at the same time as us no we are the only game today at the, at the moment we've had games Real Madrid won at Sevilla 3-1 Luka Jovic scored again so he's definitely doing better in the game than he is in real life that's a good long throw from Alba to Griezmann he's coming away obviously second game for his new club away at his old club uh, he is Messi oh he's been brought down has he has he been brought down he's carried on I thought he was I thought he'd been brought down and Ansu Fati's gone down now and um, 
he's going to have to look at the VAR. I don't know if this is for the one on Fatty or for the one on Messi. I'm not actually sure what he's going over to look at the VAR for there. Um, it's a penalty review, so it must be the one on Messi. It wasn't inside the box. It's happened outside the box. And what for that one? He's given it for that. Wow. And <laughs> we don't even get to see it after all that. What? What? <laughs> Just what? Um, here's Vitolo coming forward now, nine minutes in. Uh, it's the same referee, uh, Del Cerro Grande. It's the same referee that refereed our match against Gra uh, Granada. So, oh, and Diego Costa's in. And in Yaki Pena with a brilliant save, one on one. Um, we know one on ones are really tough to score at the minute, but that is a huge save for the kid and will hopefully give him some uh, confidence as it pinballs around the box. It's still alive, and Coke's cross drifts wide. Brilliant save. We'll hopefully get in Yaki Pena just get his confidence up um, to, to prove to himself that he deserves to be in the team. Um, I'm going to just drop a little demand more in here because we haven't started particularly well. It's focused them all. Peña's going to take this goal kick then to PK. Sergio Roberto now out to Ricardo Pereira. Griezmann's looking to make the run. He's given it to Messi. It wasn't a great ball. And Atletico can counter with Diego Costa to Coque. Saul Niguez, who I tried to sign in the summer I, I just went in gave them oh it's going to go in it's Diego Costa in Yaki Pena missed across from Trippier and Diego Costa gets there um, as you expect Diego Costa to do and for the second game in a row we go behind um, we'll come back on to Saul in a minute Trippier skins Jordi Alba oh, and then in Yaki Pena ooh, would, would Trippier have got past Fierpo as easily as he got past Jordi Alba there I'm not sure um, but yeah with Saul I went in and I triggered his release clause gave him the 100 million and he then signed a new contract with Atletico um, and I think he's I think he's put I think he's put his release fee up to 135 um, but in the end I'm happy to have got Thiago so it's not a massive loss I would have liked to have got Saul and I probably will go in for him again at some point um, but yeah I was I'm a bit gutted but we got Thiago so it all ended up okay um, we could be 2 0 down here. Zitolo comes into the penalty area and it's into the side net in the usual winger thing when they get through. They shoot. Um, we're going to see the goal kick. PK out to Sergio, uh, Ricardo Pereira, now Messi. Sergio Roberto. Griezmann making the run again, but he's gone out to Ricardo Pereira. Messi. Pass one, pass two. Oh! All Black makes a save. I don't think it was over the line, was it? It wasn't. It was close, but Oblak scrambled it away and kind of, it just hit Griezmann, didn't it, as he ran in. It was a lovely bit of play from Messi. Typical, passed a couple of players and fires a shot in. And we've had three yellow cards already. Wow. And a corner to defend against a set-piece specialist. And Diego Costa, and it's 2-0. He's headed in at the back post. Oh, God. They've had two shots on target, apparently. Well, how's that, I think? Because Iñaki Pena made a save. So how is that? It's a brilliant delivery. Brilliant delivery. And you've got to question the keeper again on that one. You really have. It, didn't, it obviously didn't count Diego Costa's first goal as a shot, did it? Because he just slid in and slid it in. Um, right, we're going to have to get into them. Um, I'm not going to go aggressive. I expect to see a much better showing. And I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to do that. And we'll, um, we'll go from there. I mean, they've committed 11 fouls and we've committed five, and yet we've got three yellow cards. That's just ridiculous. I mean, okay, I know you can't go by quantity of fouls. It's the fouls themselves. But surely out of 13 now, out of 13 fouls, surely one of them's been yellow card worthy. What the hell is going on? That's, that just doesn't make any sense at all. As Messi puts in this free kick, Pika heads away. Oh, and we just couldn't get on the end of it. It was headed away. Fatty got his head to it. Um, we're, we're playing a bit better this second half though we're not seeing an awful lot of it um, right I'm going to I'm going to take oh my god I'm going to have to start taking off some of these book players Jordi Alba can come off he's got some minutes under his belt but we'll give Junior Firpo a game um, who can play that box to box role um, mm, 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 Bruno Fernandes Thiago could do it but he's a bit old now isn't he I wanted Danny Olmo Danny Olmo could play it. I'm sure Danny Olmo could play it. Could Danny Olmo be a box-to-box? -box? Has he got the stats for it? He hasn't really got the strength, but it doesn't look too bad there. But 
Do we do it? Do we take off? Do you know what? I'm going to bring Danny Olmo on for Ansu Fati because he's just he hasn't got in the game so far today. So we're going to do that. He's just not got in the game today, Ansu Fati. So he needs to come off. Um, we just we just not hit them. They must be they must be sitting with a really deep line because we just we have not got in behind them. I mean, it's what they do, isn't it? Atletico. They park the bus. Um, we just we just haven't got him. Yeah, you can see they're on the edge of the box. Here's Ricardo Pereira. Good ball. That's got to be a penalty. Messi tripped as he went through. He's going off to look at VAR. That has got to be a penalty and a route back into the game for us. It has to be. There is no way you could turn that around. Mario Amoso tripped Messi as he was running. It might have been accidental, but it's got to be a penalty. It is a penalty. Leo Messi steps up for the second week in a row with a penalty against one of the best keepers in the world in Jan Oblak but he slots it in and we are back in the game it is 2-1 let's get a little demand more going here now lovely penalty Oblak goes the right way doesn't get anywhere near it and the goat is off the mark today let's come on now boys Griezmann hasn't done anything in this game either come on we can get something now out of this game let's get a point Mario Merso has gone off injured um, is that Renan Lodi that's just come on for him I think it is they've taken off Saul as well and brought on Marcus Llorente we've got one to make haven't we five minutes to go um, right um, ooh, ah, eesh. do I take off someone who's un oh, Frankie de Jong's not looking particularly oh should we bring Sergio Busquets on Let's give Busquets some minutes. Um, yeah, let's give Busquets some minutes. You can't really do anything wrong in five minutes, can you? So, Sergio Busquets. Come on, boys. We've not done anything since the penalty. We're not going to see a highlight, are we? It's just going to fire up. We deserve to get something out of this. We've, we've, second half, we've done well. That first half, though, was diabolical. And that is it. And... This weekend, Barcelona go to Atletico on Sunday in real life. Let's hope that wasn't a prophecy. Um, I, the second half was good. The first half wasn't. And I'm just calmly going to say I'm not happy because if we'd have played, if we'd done even a little bit better in that first half, we'd have got something out of that game, I think. Um, I can't believe... Let's just go back in and have a look at the stats. I cannot believe they only got one yellow card from 23 fouls. We committed six and got three. Oh, come on. I mean, as I say, surely at some point, more than one of those 23 were yellow card worthy. That's ridiculous. Um, right. We've got one game left of the weekend. Um, actually, we might as well fast forward through to that might we and see see what happens in it um, and then we've then everyone's play two games and it's two teams that are right around us as well in Valencia and Real Sociedad early goal from Valle Vallejo wins it for Valencia so we are now ninth in the table after two matches um, let's jump into it we don't need to worry about it too much at the minute going away to Atletico was always going to be tough um, so yeah, our next our next video is going to be Espanyol and Real Madrid, two tough away games as well. Um, so we've got two home games in the league against Osasuna and Ibar. Should be six points from them, um, and then we will come back for those um, and see how we're getting on. So yeah, smash a like on that one for me, guys. Um, hit like as well. Remember, you've watched, so now like, subscribe, and share. Um, and I will see you very soon for um, two very, very, very big derby games. So, yeah, join me for those, won't you guys? Thank you very much for watching.